Hi, Josh Barker with Remax Town & Country Real Estate. Today is Monday, March 23rd, 2020, and this is an update for both our clients and also we'll probably circulate this on social media for some other agents to see as well. There's a few ideas for you as well. So uh, first of all, let's give you an update on where things are at, are at with the mortgage industry itself. So um, a lot of questions that are being asked is, you know, what's happening with the mortgage market? Can buyers still get loans? And currently there are loans that are still funding. But what we're beginning to see is the credit markets are beginning, in, are beginning to tighten up even more. So the Federal Reserve took some action yesterday, Sunday, in which they're going to begin to participate in the mortgage market at a much higher level than what they have been recently. And the goal for them is that if they're going to step in to assist in the mortgage market, that'll free up some of those credit lines, free up some of those investors, uh, free up the loan companies themselves to be able to fund loans and keep things moving along. So um, they're, they're gonna be working hard on it. At the same time, you understand that there's some investors that are pulling out of the market. There's some credit lines that are beginning to, uh, to go away and the balance sheets for these lenders are becoming more challenging. So we're gonna start to see some of that money supply tightening up. And uh, for people that are currently in escrow with a loan lock, and if your employment hasn't changed, you're probably in a good spot. But if your employment's changing, um, or if your loan is not locked, then it's going to be very challenging for these lenders to be able to be able to give you definitive information in terms of what you can expect on your mortgage. So just understand that, have good communication with your lender, and when opportunities do present themselves, which they probably will periodically to lock, that might be something with the, con uh, the consultation with your lender you might want to choose to do. So that's what's going on the mortgage market side. Uh, for home sellers, that are still wanting to come to the market, there are some solutions in which to accommodate that. What we're suggesting with our sellers that are wanting to still come to the market and are not on the market at this time, is we're suggesting that they actually use their smartphones, turn the screen sideways and photograph their properties. And then if they wanna do a video, they can also turn their screen sideways and do a walkthrough of their home. And then with that content, they just simply send that to our company and then we'll edit that content into both nice attractive photography for the market and a, a, a really nice uh, video of a walkthrough of the home so that we can then push that out through our multiple listing service that, which then feeds all the major home buyer search sites like Zillow, et cetera. That way consumers across the entire market can see your home, they all see some pretty attractive photography and videography, and they have a pretty good idea of what your home looks like on the inside. So that's something that sellers can do if they choose to still come to the market. Now, if your home's already listed for sale with us and you don't have that walkthrough video because it wasn't something we had chosen to do at the time we started the marketing, we can simply have you do that walkthrough video now and then send that in to us and don't worry about narrating it or anything else because we're gonna edit it heavily anyway once we get that content so that we can uh, provide the highest quality uh, product we can to the market for your benefit. So that's what we're gonna do to help agents in the marketplace and buyers in the marketplace still see your home and be able to be able to do a virtual walkthrough essentially without causing any problems or for us to, to avoid violating the request of the state of California to not go into these properties. So on the buying side, if you're interested in buying a home, agents throughout our marketplace are still working and you can potentially request through the agent you're talking to, you can request that they potentially get their hands on either a video walkthrough of the home you're interested in, um, or perhaps even host some sort of a Facebook live situation, which will be peer to peer, where you could have a buyer and a seller potentially being able to share that information on social media. Although I think the video could be better. Okay, so that's a way in which to facilitate this at this time, allowing buyers to shop uh, and be able to see and, and, and agents can help facilitate that. So we're still seeing transactions taking place. Okay, so as of this morning, and I'll, I'll put the slide in here so you can see it for yourself. As of this morning, there were 61 properties that went pending in the last seven days. So for those that are asking, are there still transactions taking pay, place? Clearly the answer to that is yes. Yes, it is, and here's some evidence of that on the screen for you to see now. The next thing to talk about is just what to do next for you know, people that are thinking about coming off the market. So for some of you that choose to not be on the market at this time, that's not a problem. Just simply call our office and let us know, and we'll temporarily withdraw your home from the market so that way you, know, you don't have to even think about the process of being on the market if that's what you choose to do. Not a problem at all, we'll facilitate that for you right away. So I just wanna make sure you're, you know that's an option that is available for you. And then in conclusion, 
just keep in mind, we still have agents that are calling our office and requesting to see properties. And I can understand why. And, and for those of you out in the marketplace, just know there's buyers right now that already have their home in escrow and are looking for another home to move to and they have to move out of their home. Or in some cases, even worse, there's some buyers that already moved out of their home and are trying to get into the new home. And these agents out there are trying to help facilitate that and trying to help them with that process. So I can understand why there's agents that are still requesting to see properties. But all of us have to do our part to try to minimize the impact um, or the contact with other people. We really need to respect that the best we can. So, um, you know, everybody's gonna have to be responsible and accountable for their own decisions, but I just encourage you, let's follow the orders that we've been given and let's try to keep this, uh, this virus at bay as much as possible. So in any case, if you have any questions at all, I would encourage you to reach out to your real estate professional, or if you don't have anybody you're working with and you have questions, we're certainly here to help. So thank you again for your time today, and uh, we're all gonna get through this together. Take care.